Rose. Hello everyone, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome back to my channel. We are in Kastamonu, my father's hometown city in the Black Sea coast. Visiting different sites, family gathering, cooking, shopping. It's the mushroom season in Kastamonu, late September. And this year we have a lot of it. I'm gonna take you to the markets where they sell the mushrooms. We will talk with the locals, what they cook with it and I will also be cooking at my mom's house different recipes with mushrooms. <laughs> While going to the market in the center of Kastamonu, I stumbled upon into a big event, so decided to spend some time and film. I'm in the uh, center of Kastamonu. There is an event. I don't know what it is. It wasn't planned. There are the bureaucracy people waiting to watch an event. I speak in French. So you'll be following the Turkish Yes, I follow the Turkish protocol. It's a very, uh, very different. So I'm with Yunus, my follower. He found me in Kastamonu in the center. It's a pleasure to, to meet Aisha Noor. Yes. It's a good ambassador of the Turkey yeah. woman. I like her very much. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to hear how did he decided to come to Kastamonu and why? Why Kastamonu? Because I wanted to know the real Turkish, the real local uh, traditional uh, Turkish. Because Turkey, it's not only Istanbul. Although Istanbul, it's very uh, incredible. Yes. But uh, I wanted to come in the, the real Anatolia and uh, here we are at, in the heart, I think, of, uh, of Anatolia. It's a very beautiful city, nice. local food, a lot of things That's to try. Nice. What have you tried, tasted? I tried today the Banduma for the first time. It's a little loud. It's kind of heavy a bit? Yes, it's okay. heavy, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But everything is good. We have a lot of restaurants here. People are very welcoming. For me, it's a really perfect city. I like the Ottoman Empire. Nice. Big history, Seljuk. Uh, Seljuk, like yes. yes. How many days you decided to plan come here? I'm here for only two, two nights. You can stay more. Thank you so much. No. Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellemin kutsal emanetlerini bizlere kazandıran Yavuz Sultan Selim diye istihdam maaşını bizlere... İsmim Furkan. Kastamonu devre kendi imam hatip olarak görev yapmaktayım. Ahilik nedir? Kardeşliktir, paylaşmaktır. Ahilik yardımlaşmadır. Ahilerimizle beraber esnafın doğruluğunu, dürüstlüğünü, ahilerimiz arasındaki yardımlaşmayı ortaya çıkartmaya çalıştık. İnşallah gelecek nesillere de aktararak bu teşkilatın amacı ve muhtevası inşallah devam eder. İnşallah. It's the mushroom season in Kastamonu during September and October. I'm a little bit late but it's Wednesday and two times a week there is a market. So I want to check if they are still there and what they have. Hey, what's the name of the 
Burada olmasın o kadar. Bunun bak, şöyle şey yani. Yani. bak burada Olur, olmasın. Böyle oluyor yani. Burada olmadı mı tamam. Bununla bir şey olmaz. Bir şey olmaz. Şuralarında şey... mı olacak? Olur. Aynı. Varsa Burada yani. Ha? Çıktı Aynı. mı şuralarında da kurt oluyor. Böyle, böyle gezinir. Da, da... Şey şey edelim, şey edelim, şu kenarlar bununla iyi ama. Yani Buyur abla vereyim. Hangi şey güzellerinden? Normal I've got the beautiful Kanlıca mantarı. Kanlıca mushrooms. Now going back to the event to film. They are serving pilav. Bilmiyorum börek mantar böyle çok güzel olur. Evet nasıl yapabilirim? Yani çiğden mi kavurarak mı yapıyorsun? Kavuracağım. Kavurarak. Tamam. Nişastada açıyor. Geçen hafta 300'e kadar var. Nereye? Aşkabriya, Hakkala Santuri. Yok. Ben burada yiyorum. Orada içeceğim. Sen biz atletmeye gidelim. Sen yap bak bir kere. Maya, olabilirdir. Sen yap. Sen kuvazını bir bek tabi yap. Şimdi böyle ayıklıyorsunuz, buraya koyuyorsunuz. Evet. Bunu Sonra... yıkıyoruz, hı hı. E, kaynatıyoruz iyice. Melhem gibi çok kaynayacak. Devamlı soğuyor. E, sık elekten, bir de çoraplar. Hı, hiç öyle olmadı, diyorlar. Hiç kullanmadık evet. evet, evet, anladım. Ben buradan her giden iki üç kutu. Tamam mıyız? Hı. Hı. Next day in the morning I wanted to use kanlıca mushrooms, some of it to make eggs with mushrooms. I cut a little bit from the stem. Look if there is any uh, spoiled mushrooms and quickly washed them. Meanwhile I wanted to saute my onions and then back to mushrooms. I cut them into quarters or smaller if the mushrooms are bigger. This is an example uh, when it has a worm inside. I seasoned the sautéed onions with some salt. I then added the chopped mushrooms and continued to sauté. Meanwhile, my mom is helping me to prepare the breakfast. This is our famous custom onu pastırma. After sauteing everything nicely for about 5-7 minutes, I cracked the eggs, gently stirred and cooked for 2 more minutes. Kokmadı mı? After our hearty breakfast, we have family things to do, helping my mom outside. And later on the day, we walked to the Sheikh Shaban Veli. Sabır taşıyor. Gerçekten. We walked 10,000 steps today to the Sheikh Shaban Veli with my daughter. Now we are back in Nasrullah Square and then uh, gonna go back home. It's calm, uh, beautiful, like uh, not many people and uh, sun is uh, setting. Good vibes. <laughs> Hi, 
Only after two days later, I was able to check the rest of the mushrooms and make a recipe with it. So meanwhile, it got uh, spoiled a little bit. I tried to save as much as I can. Normally, I would only uh, saute the mushrooms, but I wanted to go with the local way that I learned from the ladies. So I uh, washed, drained, and then uh, boiled the kanlıca mushrooms for a couple of minutes until a little bit somewhat soft and uh, kept them for the recipe to saute. Next, I again begin by sauteing some onions, lots of onions, and then uh, continue to uh, chop the mushrooms. The local ladies was saying it is also possible to process them in the food processor. I uh, sauteed the mushrooms, added some pul biber, chili flakes, black pepper, salt, and finally eggs. They usually add eggs either to uh, soups when making a gözleme like this, we call it leg make, to give extra flavor and boldness. I have detailed gözleme recipe on my channel, I'm gonna add the link. Usually we make it with mincemeat either or cheese or potato filling but this time it was beautiful kanlıca mushroom. Dede. Güzel. Ne kadar güzel. İyi. Afiyet olsun. Sağ ol. Teşekkürler. We went to the market with my father early in the morning because they just leave around 11, get some cheeses from local ladies. They sell cheese, butter, lots of mushrooms since it's the season. I got lots of cheese, I'm gonna freeze. They use it in eggs, burek, things like that. My dad was talking about a different mushroom. They call cincile mantarı. And we found it too. It was like very cheap. The local lady gave me. Now we are returning back home for breakfast. It's 10 a.m. These eggs are organic. When I stopped by this year to say hello to the stone print artist I visited last year, she gave me some eggs again. She's very talented and hardworking lady, makes beautiful stone printed tablecloths and more. If you are interested, make sure to watch that episode. After the breakfast, we went back to the market for shopping. It's also the season for chestnuts. And here in Kastamonu, they have small but very flavorful ones. Back home, I made sütlaç with the local fresh milk we got. I have the recipe on the channel. 
and cleaned the beautiful gingilla mushrooms which were very clean so I just right sauteed it without this time washing or boiling and freeze them to take back with me to Istanbul for new recipes. Eee nasılsın baba? Çok iyiyim. Ne yapıyorsun? Bildiğin gibi. İyi. Kafe 37'ye geldik az önce. Babam kola içti, ben de soda Zeynep'le. Kuşlara kuşlara Zeynep. We get out for a walk. The birds are beautiful right now. Sun is setting. We had a busy another day. I don't know how it seems when you watch me, but I take this as a quality time to spend with my uh, parents as much as I can. The importance is to be with them, no matter what I do during the day. Yine inşallah gelirsin. İnşallah. I wish I could film and collect Kanlıca mushrooms. It was full of it everywhere this year, they say, and we saw on the market, but I couldn't film it. I couldn't go to the forest side. Hopefully next year maybe. At least we saw a couple of them while charging our car. <laughs> In the upcoming episode, I will take you to Sinop city situated on the northernmost edge of the Turkish side of the Black Sea coast. I will continue to discover more local foods to taste and come up with new recipes for you to try. Don't forget to like and leave a comment to support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.